Yeah, how's it going everyone? This is Drawn Smiles and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Now before we begin, I'd like to uh, explain some stuff. First, I was playing the game without recording. I was just like getting stuff ready, pretty much. I was doing some plants, you know, planting some plants, uh, making some potions. I also uh, did like two Merlin Trials, but don't worry, it was Merlin Trials we basically already did. Like one of the boulder ones where you have to push the boulder into a hole. And, like, there's three pots that you gotta set on fire before the time limit goes out. Basically stuff I possibly already showed you guys, but in, like, different locations. I also have been doing some challenges. Like, combat challenges. Basically, I was just fighting random monsters when I seen them. Defeat 10 Mongols. Gear, trait, recipe, reward. Lupus, protection, 1... Now, I also collected some, let's see here, I also collected some flues, like if there was any flues over here that I didn't have, I just quickly touched them and then ran away because I didn't want to explore the area without you guys. Just so if I have to teleport anywhere at any point, it's ready to go. The only place left for us to uh, really investigate is the uh, south part of the map. Other than that, we, uh, we got it going on. We've been doing some stuff. Now, I am level 26 with 15 talent points. I believe it is time for us to use up some more talent points. Going to max out stealth. Boom. Petificus totalis emanates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. And as you can see by the little video... Boom. You kill one, it kills the other. If he's too close. That's gonna help out. Um, like I said, I've been planting some plants and doing some potions. So, uh, this right here, room of requirement, will boost my plants and stuff when I'm using them. And my potions. So, I might as well upgrade some of this stuff. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost yep then let me see the range and damage of the potion effect are greatly increased that's for the thunder buoy looks like might as well <clears throat> be nice to start using more of those then venomous tentacula attacks deal additional damage and break shields why not? Now, let's see. Anything else? Let me see. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. Yep, that one. Brick and Rail heals you to a greater effect. Might as well. I believe there was another one of those somewhere as well. Where is it at? Brick and Rail heals you to a greater effect. Yep. So, I won't have to use up too many more of those potions. Instead of using like three, maybe I only have to use one or two. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. I'm going to do that one so that I don't have to continuously click dodge. Instead, one should be enough. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. Yep. That sounds like it'll be pretty decent. Uh, enemy struck with stupefy remains stunned for a longer period of time. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be alright. What about spells? Let's see here. Um, wait a minute, what is this one? Striking an enemy frozen by Glacius blasts damaging shards outward from the target. I used that spell a bit, so maybe. Confringo impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty alright one. Defendo casts slice through impacted enemies to strike additional targets. But does that mean they have to be right behind him? Because in that video to the bottom right or whatever, it looks like he's a bit to the right. He's not exactly behind him. I'm going to do that one as well. We are using up basically all of them. I guess that is the point. I think that would be enough for now. That should be uh, plenty. All right. Oh yeah, let me uh, show you guys my new stuff. 
First off, I maxed out the amount of Rickenveld potions you can have at once. It's 25, apparently. I also got this. Ta-da! I maxed out the plants at 12. I maxed out all the potions pretty much at 12. Other than Thunder Brew, I ran out of that ingredient. And the invisibility potion, because I probably won't use the invisibility potion too much anyways. So, it doesn't really matter. I got a focus potion ready to go when I use up a focus potion. Got the bigger pots filled with shrivel fig so that I can make more thunder brew. I got this. It makes fertilizer. Look. Look at all that manure inside our place. You know it smells fantastic in here. You know it does. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then, dun 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 dun. You want to come see our meth lab? Let's go see our meth lab in the basement. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Boom. We got the plants growing. And then we got all the potions. I got Maxima potions and Adorus potions ready to go down here. This one's more shrivel fig. Yeah, apparently you can uh, put down multiple tables, not just one at a time or anything. You can have multiple bigger tables. And then I bought the smaller, the five pot smaller tables and they're ready to go. And you can have a few of those. Once I buy medium tables, I can put down a few medium tables. Yeah, so, uh, basically this is my meth lab in the basement. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not a meth lab, but come on, let's, let's be honest here. We got plants growing, we got potions being made. We got some stuff going on down here, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so, let me... Start doing some quests now. Now, let me go to Professor Garlic's assignment too, because I finished doing her plants and stuff. So, I might as well get that done and over with. And here we go. Traveling to Miss Garlic so that we can finish our assignment and get an A. Well, I might as well collect this as well. Mellow Sweet. Yeah, I've been uh, planting all types of plants, growing them and stuff. This way, Professor Garlic, give me an A plus, please. I gotta pass this class. Perhaps a hybrid, bouncing tentacular. Tentacular. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Ta-da! I'm going to be using it to flip monsters, probably. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Do not worry about your plants. You're a natural. Okay, so now we can just flip people. They mess with us, we're gonna flip them. Flip them upside down. Flip them all around. What is this one? The man behind the moon. Oh, no, never mind. That's that one guy. What is uh, this one? Summoner is caught, match two. Someone is looking for a new opponent at Summoner is caught. Play Summoner Escort. Who is my next opponent? Please let me win the first time. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until. <coughs> <sighs> Never mind. Shall we begin? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Yes, it is your turn. It looks like I'm Team Blue. Team Blue. Lose. 
Oh, it's like little whirlpools. Hey, it's out of here. What was I thinking? Hey, don't worry. I think I'm probably gonna fail this as well. The location of them isn't that good. Oh, on the other side. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, yes. Yes. That was sensational. Thank you. And it sucks it up. Oh, she still got it though. All right, I just gotta get the angle right then. Yes. <laughs> so, like, what happens if I do it at this angle? Oh, that's not good. I should have held on to it a bit longer. Come on, come on. Hit. That would have been funny if she hit mine in there. That would have been funny. Don't I automatically win? Yeah, I automatically win. Even if I mess this one up. Okay, I don't care then. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. I hit the other one in too. <laughs> How am I to top that? How that are you? Settles it then. <laughs> yes, I win. <laughs> First try, that's what I wanted. Sweet. Magnificent. After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Yeah, I got better at it, okay? You gotta practice, man. You gotta practice. You played well. You underestimated me. You played well. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. It'd be nice if I can go up against Natty again and win. Okay, we got that one done. On to the next quest. We got multiple of them. Look at this. Let's see, sweeping the competition. Alby mentioned that Imelda can be found south of Hogwarts. To get the data he wants, I must participate in her boom trial. Speak with Imelda Reyes. Oh, didn't mean to spawn in your house. My bad. Did not mean to interrupt you. Might as well get a bit of practice in before doing it. It's not much practice seeing how we're already here, but it's gonna have to do. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff. Hufflepuffy and baby. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Changed your mind about me. Scared everyone else away. And your mind about me. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around <laughs> and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. Sounds like you want a buddy. We can be your buddy. Let us go. Not now, I'll come back later. Let us go. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. When we beat her, can we become buddies with her? Though she might not be too lonely. Sounds like she wants someone to compliment her. Everyone wants a decent compliment every once in a while. I just seen that, I think, a Merlin trial. And yes, I, I am getting the hang of this, but uh, me going this fast is going to be on the outside, but it looks like I, I'm doing somewhat decent. I don't want to say that though and jinx myself. 
You know, the moment you say, oh yeah, I'm doing pretty decent, and then you jinx yourself. I'm not getting all the bubbles. I gotta do this. I don't think I gotta get all the bubbles though. Just getting like at least one. That should make me more than fast enough to win. Yeah. There we go. Oh, man, I'm doing it. Yeah, I got a bit of practice flying and now I'm getting, you know, better at it. It looks like I'm doing plenty better than the first time I did this. <clears throat> Although, I got that the very first try too, didn't I? I thought I was possibly gonna have to redo it and then I ended up actually doing it. I made it. And it looks like I'm gonna get this the first time too, which is nice. Unless I horribly mess up at the very end or something, because I'm at basically the very end right now. But no, it looks like I got this. Did it, first try. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. And I didn't miss any wings this time. Nice. Doing better and better. Practice, man. You gotta practice. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Who has been put out by your talent? You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people, won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We shall see, Imelda. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. And we did it. this course again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race. Revelio. I don't. I'm all right. I don't have to do this race again. Another successful flight. Yep. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Yep. Don't really have to do this one again because I already defeated her. Not sure why I'm still collecting that. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, I gotta get these. I, I kind of forgot which potion it was. I think the Adorus potion, but I ran out of those ones. Ash Rinder eggs. I gotta get more of those. Why did this area get uh, discovered or whatever? Because it was uh, foggy, just like this stuff. Because I came over here and did a little challenge or something, maybe? Hmm. Well, anyways, Hogmead. It is time to tell him the good news. Yes. The good news that we won the challenge the first try. Because we're amazing. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that's going to be some because I'm going to accidentally push that button, probably. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Well, let me tell you a story. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale Curse. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. 
Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. <coughs> Thank you again, truly. You're welcome. Just make sure to get that upgrade ready. Let's see, what is this one? A friend indeed. Savona, the proprietress of the three boomsticks in Hogsmeade, sent me an hour requesting I meet with her at my earliest convenience. I should find out what she needs. Talk to Savona Ryan in the three boomsticks. Rewards is conjuration spellcraft. Alrighty, let's go to that one. Eh. Run. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Yes. Yes. Glad you came. Hello there. Do you have a quest for us? Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I spoke with him. We are actually working together. Um. Let's see here. Spoke with him. We are actually working together. I mean, isn't this person buddies with that guy? So we are actually working together. Shouldn't it be a big deal. I haven't played this in uh, a bit. I haven't played this game in, in a bit. Other than like fighting some monsters and stuff. Did we tell him we weren't going to tell anyone? On the outside. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do random. Here we go. I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. <laughs> I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle have a Wigan World supply? Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's <coughs> loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did you leave your box of letters with the Sprottles? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I could try and stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Doc my love. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no a problem. Let me see the map. I possibly clicked on the wrong thing. Alright. The flu is right here. No, this flu. I want this flu. Thank you. We must travel. Travel, I say. It is the fastest way. Well, ah, most likely. Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Yes, that is the question. But before that, all right, that's going to be the video for right now. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification button. Until next time, God bless.